So this customer had his siding painted, pulled the fixtures down, so we're gonna put these fixtures back up. Per usual, there was no boxes behind here, so I'll show you the process of how to install a box and then make this light up the proper way. So first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that we're centered here. So I'm just gonna measure in between the trim because that's what looks right from the street. Here, yeah. So it's pretty close to centered. Now comes the tricky part. I've gotta drill this hole and make this happen without blowing all this up. Let's see. This is gonna work great. Got it. Also, as you noticed, I went really, really slow, trying to dig one edge in and then letting the rest of the blade eat the rest of the way in. All right, so I'm gonna stick this pancake box on here. So I got my box. This is called a Tom Two-Way. Shout out Racketeers. Stick that in there. That gives that a bushing going into the box. So the existing hole does not line up. Shocker. We'll make it line up. Don't let the homeowner see you do that. <laughs> JK, ain't nothing wrong with that. Whenever you're doing outside lights, because the brackets are always so different, one place that always works is the screws at a 45 degree angle. Notice I'm using stainless steel screws. Don't ever use drywall screws on outside work. Guys, boom, pow. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've done this several times, so. Sometimes you gotta cut these screws off. I know a lot of guys like to run that nut down. I don't, I'll show you why. These are too long, cut them off. And as you can tell, it lines up perfectly since I had those at a 45. 45 degree will work on any bracket, I promise. All right, light me. Okay, always do the ring around the groundy. Well, we'll do the ground like this. Notice I'm not letting go of the light. There was a time that I used to just let the ground hold the light fixture up and then do all this. But one time the ground pulled out of the fixture and the light dropped, broke the light. So I don't do that anymore. Tips of the trade, tips of the trade. Now, this becomes quite fun, getting all this shoved in there. That's good. For most of you, the job would be done right now. For me, it's not. It's time to caulk it, I'll show you. Using some paintable caulking here, not silicone. Even with that light tightened down, it'll still move. So to hold it in place, I'm not leveling it. I'm going off the siding here. Holy, oh my gosh. That just looks wonderful. You gotta spit on it a little bit. Boom. Job done. Notice I didn't do the bottom. If any water does get back there, you wanna give it a path to go out. And that's gonna not only hold that light fixture in place, but make it so they don't get a leak inside their house. 